So today we're going to show you how to glue um, some cardboard together using uh, liquid nails uh, projects. Uh, liquid nails can be purchased at um, stores like Home Depot or uh, Lowe's. Um, this tube cost a dollar seventy-four at Home Depot last week. Um, the caulking guns vary in price, but you can get them for a couple of bucks uh, also. Um, so I, I, I wouldn't buy anything expensive. Um, so the materials that you need, liquid nails, the caulking gun, probably need about six to 12 tubes of liquid nails for your entire bridge. Um, we're gonna use a, uh, a serrated plastic knife um, to spread the glue. Um, here are the pieces of cardboard. You're gonna need eight pieces of cardboard. And I've cut the pieces of cardboard uh, using an index card as a template. So that's three inches by five inches. Um, the nail is for uh, serving as a plug for the tube of liquid nails when, um, when it sits overnight not being used. Because if you don't plug it up, then the glue will harden in this tube. This will uh, prevent that from happening and it's easy to remove. So just a, a large nail that will fit inside there or a screw. I'm going to use some rubber bands as clamps to keep things together. Uh, here's just a piece of cardboard to allow the group uh, glue to drip onto it. Uh, a ruler, we'll use that later. And uh, here are uh, a couple of weights, uh, dumbbell weights that we'll use to weigh down the cardboard as it dries. The surface I'm working on, um, I, I've chosen this grid here. These squares are half inch uh, squares, um, just so you could see um, the relative sizes that we're working with. Um, uh, I've covered this with plastic wrap just to protect it. At home, you'd probably, you wouldn't use plastic wrap, you'd probably use newspaper or cardboard. Whatever surface you work on, be sure to protect it. Uh, that's very important. Um, you can use newspaper or cardboard. I'd recommend working on the floor of the garage or the floor of your basement. Uh, some area that if you do get glue on it, uh, on the surface, it's not going to be tragic. Um, let's begin by taking three pieces of cardboard. Um, this is recycled cardboard. Uh, this thickness must be a quarter inch or less. This is about an eighth of an inch. Uh, this is just taken from a cardboard box, and I've already cut them into the sizes for this assignment. I'm going to take some glue. Just uh, squeeze some glue with the trigger of the gun. Not too much. I don't want to waste it. Um, and I don't, want, uh, I don't want too much glue because the glue is going to add to the weight of the project, which is particularly important for your bridge. Just spread the, the glue using the knife as a trowel. You notice that you get these ridges. It's exactly what you want. You want to see the cardboard in between the ridges. That, that will keep the layer of glue a constant uh, thickness. Then you can just rest this on your scrap piece of cardboard. Take your other piece of cardboard, lay it down, sandwich it, press, move it around a little bit like that, so that way you're guaranteed that the entire surface is coated. You can do the same thing. Take some of this glue with a trowel, Spread it like that. Now you see that it can get a little messy. I'm getting some on my hand, so I'm just going to wipe it off as I go along with some paper toweling. Later on, I'll use some nail polish remover and, and clean that off. Uh, those of you who wear nail polish, I don't. Um, it's uh, it's going to destroy your nail polish, so just be prepared for that. Uh, you'll have to do your nails later on. Uh, take the piece of cardboard, put it on. doesn't matter what size, side. Move it around like that, and we're done. Now, previously, I just finished off camera doing another one. So what I'm going to do with these two pieces now is I'm going to put them on top of one another and I'm going to stack the weight on top and let that sit for about 30 to 45 minutes 
um, until the glue is, is pretty much dried. And we'll come back to this later. Okay, we're back now. Uh, it's been 45 minutes. And uh, got a little bit of glue there, so it's stuck. But um, this is dry. It's not completely dry. It'll take a total of 24 hours for the glue to cure. Um, glue undergoes a chemical reaction, so it's not, it's not like it's drying the way paint dries. Um, there's a chemical reaction that takes place. It takes about 24 hours for all glues for that reaction to take place. So um, as you build your bridges, it's important that you allow your bridge to sit for 45 minutes. Um, what we're going to do next is I want to take these two pieces of cardboard and connect them together, kind of like a dumbbell shape like that, or an I-beam. Now, if I connect it together like that, it's going to be pretty flimsy. So what I'm going to do is take this piece of cardboard and put an angle into it. So let me just use a pen to mark it so you know what I'm talking about. Just put a little line here so you can see what I'm doing. That's a little off center. I could do a better job than that. Um, now what I'm going to do is I want to score this line. I want to press down with something. So I'm just going to use that nail that I have. Uh, this is a nice hard edge, and I'm just going to do that. Maybe even better, use the ruler. Now, I, I don't want to cut it necessarily. All I want to do is just uh, score it a little bit so it bends easy and fold it. So that way it can stand up. Now, there's a tremendous difference in strength when we put that bend in. So uh, I want to make two of these. So take my final piece of cardboard, my eighth piece of cardboard. Uh, let's do a better job aligning this now. So that's three inches. We'll put a mark there, one and a half. Another mark, one and a half. And uh, line it up eh, a little better. Um, so again, I'm going to score it. Okay. I don't want to rip the cardboard. I just want to kind of compress it. Okay, that's good. And see the way it bends very easily. So now I have two, two pieces of cardboard that can stand up end on end like that. Um, see, if I even take my thick pieces of cardboard, I stand it up end, it immediately falls over. So when you put a fold in, you, you now have structure. So what I'm going to want to do is take the pieces of cardboard and somehow give it structure. So I think I'm going to put the cardboard like that to, to form an X, and that'll be the handle of my um, dumbbell. So now I'm just going to squeeze. Rather than squeezing the glue directly on those pieces, I'm going to just put some on this little piece of cardboard, my working area, and just scrape it off of that. Um, let me just make an X here. I'll do it maybe corner to corner. And that's where I'm going to align my, my pieces of cardboard. So I think I'm going to align it like that. So that way I don't have to bend the cardboard too much. Put some, some glue on the bottom here coat it. Now here I'm going to want to coat it pretty well. And along the back here, because I want the two pieces of cardboard to come together so they strengthen one another. So there's way more glue than I need, but I don't want to spend too much time because it's not, you know, I'll save a little bit of time, a little bit of, I'll save a little bit of glue, but I'll take a lot of time. So set that like that, and again, move it around so that glue definitely gets attached. And I'll do the same thing with this piece. Um, put glue there. There we 
There you go. And I'm also going to put glue here because if I just take these two pieces, put them together, I'm not guaranteed to have a good bond. So I'm going to put glue on both sides because this is a, an important joint. Okay, good. So put that in like that. And just to show you the joint that I've made, I'm going to, I'm going to rub these two surfaces together like that. So that way it's nice and stuck. Okay, so, so this definitely will stand up. You can see it stands up like a table. And uh, what I'm going to finally do is attach the other end on top to form that dumbbell shape, which is takes the appearance of a sophisticated I-beam. Put glue there. Put glue there. Now this is a small piece. Again, this is just for you guys to get some practice on gluing in case you have any questions for us. So I'm going to take that piece, put it on top, give it a little jiggle like that, and I'm done. Well, I'm almost done. I'm not very comfortable about just allowing that to sit because, you know, the cardboard may be a little crooked and gravity may slowly pull this aside like that and pull it off when I'm not looking. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use some tape, wrap some tape, or maybe better yet, just take a rubber band. Oh, that one broke. Uh, take another rubber band like that and apply some pressure. You can see that it kind of gets out of whack. So I'm going to have to put two, one on either side. There you go. So there's my piece. This is what you guys have to build for me. And, uh, and then I'll inspect it, and I'm going to rip it apart uh, for the purposes to find out how good of a job you can do gluing. Because when we test our bridges, it's all about how well you glue the cardboard together. Um, you have a great design, good structure, well thought through. But if the glue isn't holding, it's not going to support a DeMeo, and that's very important. Now, the glue over here, I guess we can clean it up. Um, this may be a little gross. I'm just going to lick my finger and kind of press the glue down, um, and it gets nice and smooth. The problem is it's on my finger, and I'm going to want to lick it again. So you can dip it in some water. Um, so if you have a wet surface, that won't stick to the glue uh, very much. And you can see that you'll get a little more reinforcement there. The coating is not what I'm trying to do. I'm trying to push the glue into the seam. You can also use the putty knife or the, uh, your, your serrated kitchen knife. Not kitchen knife, plastic knife. And kind of push that in there. Now, isn't that nice? Isn't that sexy looking? And hopefully it'll do a good job too. So we'll come back later and uh, and have a look at this. Thanks for listening.